There he is. The cop in the papers. You should be ashamed of yourself, young man. <laughs> Finally, something different. I can tell you Ah, uh, okay, so, um, we have a marine person, I think, because there, there was, was this uh, soundtrack when uh, I was in the marines, the same soundtrack, so, meaning, he must be a similar person, or the same person, from the marines, so, I think we'll be a fine, because, you know, Old friends, old fiends. Are we having a conversation, Dick? Okay, fuck it. Forget I. I'm teasing you, Bert. Tell me about it. The new housing developments a couple of weeks from completion. Burned to the ground last night. The guys are ready to move in this weekend. The developers gonna have some very angry customers. <laughs> Cold, I like you. He's still in custody, Virgil. Fun of that. Fella kicked him loose already. Can't hold him for misdemeanor cigarettes and matches. Cole is a good character. I like him. Uh, too bad he's batshit crazy. Cause, um, cause of my choices, of course. But, uh, crazy, crazy nonetheless. Whoa. Did you see that? Oh my god. Everyone is trying to kill me, I'm telling you, man. I think the problem is I'm just not looking at um, the lights. They're not, they're, I'm not looking if they're red or, or green. I just go. Because I'm used to GTA stuff. And I usually don't crash there. Not that I play it. But when I have played, I, I will go like full speed and there will, there's no problems. Well, well, can't look at the lights if there are no lights. That's my logic here. I feel like I've been here like two times. This house was lit. Hey Mel, how's it going? You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. I just ate, so I'm good. I'm not gonna throw up. I have high tolerance. Do you have a name? Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. Okay. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch, he's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. They wouldn't have felt it. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved him into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? That's where you don't understand things, man. Some things don't have to make sense. Yeah, I was like wondering how the hell did I die like that? Like, hands up and stuff? And in a row? It's strange. Thumbnail. Maybe. What are you doing? I, I could get demonetized. Like this from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. But at the same time. Another day, another dollar. Another day, another dollar. Maybe. YouTube system doesn't recognize it. It could be a thing. We don't yet know. But they might recognize it later. But well, when they do, it's not sexual. No. They're just kind of crispy. Just a bit... Find anything interesting? Uh, not yet. I'm having a dialogue to myself. But thank you for keeping me on track. Alright, let's see what's on, what's over here. You ever think about how many people have died in this world? 
how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them pigs? No, I have not. Show some respect. I wasn't being disrespectful. I was just wondering stuff and it wasn't even a bad thing to say. It's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. But what about the guy we have in jail, though? Got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fire? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He's trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. He could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Might fit, Cole. But I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Evidence! Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phil. So I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating the pigs. Big C's throwing up. Uh, can't blame him. It will be kind of hard to watch. Or smell. What's eating bigs? So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the 2nd Marines at Bella Wood. Things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire screaming for a way out. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You get this? I understand. You remember the list of the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around, work the neighbors, see what they know. I'll go across the street. Okay, I'll try this side. So the thing is, if that was the wrong guy, I wouldn't jail. You don't look like a fireman, son. Like if if I put the wrong guy in jail, like he said, I did put the wrong guy in jail, like even before this episode. But even if I did, um, um, did the right choice, so-called right choice, the previous episode, I would have still had the same dialogue, so I still would have picked the wrong guy. So. They can't be angry at me for picking the wrong guy if both of them were the wrong guy. Right? Like it didn't make sense. Alright, anyway. Wait, 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 wait. I'm pretty sure I missed something here. Let me see. Yep, 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 yep. There isn't even, uh, there's not even a place to go right now. So let's go back. Uh, yo, I went into the gym today. And I got a new PR. It's amazing. Just need to eat more. I, just, I was just eating more recently. And then I was like, let's go to the gym. Also had a little break because I had the flu shot. I mean, yeah, I, I, I guess it's flu. Um, corona is a flu now. So, um, I had a bigger break and then I came out even more fresh. I guess that's part of the reason. Anyway, we are at the right... It's not the right place. Jump! Jump down! Oh, man. Oh! Oh! Hello. Same thing. Looks like the same model. Mm-hmm. Looks like it's kind of like the werewolf killer. Like playing with us or something. 
blaming other guys. Sort of, right? Except this one likes fires. Uh, we're not done here, are we? Not even close. All right, did I miss something inside? Did I even check inside? Oh yeah. Hey, we did check. Mm-hmm. Isn't it hot in here? Cold? You okay? Cold? Aren't your shoes on fire now? Hmm. Must be missing something. But what is it that I'm missing? Yeah, that's not gonna... I didn't even see that, I just was just clicking. Just in case I missed something. I don't know, man. I don't know. I checked um, literally everything. Oh, you're going... What are you doing, partner? What are you doing, step partner? Did we... Did we have to go here? I have forgotten. Why else would you go here? You were being... A creepy man. Weren't you? Just a bit. Help me. Advice? The neighbors have got to know something. Okay, Let's neighbors. Talk. Neighbors, 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 neighbors. Excuse my shenanigans. I do that sometimes when I'm nervous. Hello. LAPD. Can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Hello, Mr. Foreman. You're a homeowner and Morelli family neighbor. That's all we need to know. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. Hmm. No, you were not. You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. You're being very disrespectful. Morelli is dead now. Who gives a shit about, like, minor things? You said someone is knocking these houses down? Elysian Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. You do, you just, you just don't like them. Whatever you thought of Morelli. His whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. Exactly. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. I don't like this dude. You're a bad neighbor. You said the Morellis had won a weekend away. To Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. Then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? And then you what? were even more glad. I don't know. You didn't know? I mean, why would you know? Or maybe... I don't know. You didn't enter yourself? I'd already agreed to sell. The competition was an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. All right. Uh, think about how you act to other people, man. I don't like this. I don't like this guy. Anyway. Uh, more neighbors, I guess. Perhaps. Uh, do I call someone? No? 
I guess more neighbors. Okay, so you tubed it, and it's perfectly hidden, so you wouldn't would never find it over here. Over here. Yep. Look at this. Mm hmm. Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Rand looks distinctive. Yeah. What about those boots, though? Why are they here? No, no, no. Here we go. Was, he was wearing boondockers. I would know that imprint anywhere. But now that we have boot prints. Am I gonna rewatch the boots over there? Can I re interview the guy? Hmm. Okay, anyway. Let's talk again, shall we? There you go. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. Hmm. Are you sure? Just in case. You sure, Mr. Foreman? There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, beat up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. Hmm. Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? Hold a piece of paper. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Oh, yeah. I remember origami. Paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Oh, my God. I'm getting chills because I remember the scene from Heroes with origami with Hiro Nakamura and Charlie. This was such a cool scene. With these. They were so sweet. Oh, man. Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? For Elysian Fields developments. Hmm. With the he did talk about that. Just a bit. Oh. I see you already have one. Yeah, my partner just brought us this. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. All right. I gotta make a phone call. I might not. I might not be back. I need an address for a property developer. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. You have a message. Contact Captain McKelty immediately. Thanks. Can you book me through, operator? Of course. Here you are. Commander? Please in the Morelli Farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? I'm warning you, Phelps. Commander, we have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. 
have a report on my desk today. Fire me. Do it. Just warned us off over a lesion. Makes sense. It's a dead end. We should check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place? Sure. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. We are not going to. Yes, we are. You just won't let this go, will you, Cole? You know they're involved somehow. You expect me to turn my back on it? You're a big boy. I expect you to know which battles are worth throwing my pension away for. I want to see, okay? Calm your tits. Alright, let's not arrest them though. Just ask a few questions and when we're sure. Which will probably just be another bait. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? We're the police, lady. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. Monroe That's is a woman. Thanks, ma'am. Very fancy and empty as well. Very empty. May I help you, gentlemen? Wow, what is this? I wonder how many more layers we gotta go through to get to this guy. What is this? What is this design? Why is it so open? This is not it's not even a room. Ugh. This makes me very uncomfortable. We would like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is getting us nowhere, miss. Casino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. Thank you. When have we ever needed a warrant? Let's just go in. Like a cigar. Drink, boy. Sure, I think... Biggs. I think it's called a cigar, not a cigar, but... We're investigating okay. a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. It's terrible, boys. How can I help? Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using Waybill. I mean, kind of makes sense. What's your connection to the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? An organization of civic-minded individuals whose goal is to make the city a better place for its inhabitants. Something I was proud to be asked to join. Don't expect greatness here. What do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. Mm hmm I mean, maybe he doesn't know. I don't know. I'm going with it. Level with me, Mr. Monroe. You know all about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. Yeah. Wait, what was that? Yeah, no. There's one. Your face is all over the flyers, Mr. Monroe. You know about the prizes, and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are 
part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Do you want to accuse them of murder as well? No, I'm only accusing you at the moment. Although there was an imposter in the police, I remember there was one. Like an inside man. He's made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. <laughs> Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. Hmm. Come on, Mr. McGraw. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. The arsonists, do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. The contract is I use for waybills. Do you suppose it could be any of them? I have a list of their names if it would be of any help. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Let to be a I don't care. I'm sorry, miss. Do we need a warrant for this list? What's the story? Any of these names ring a bell? Let's see. Paul Jones. Oh my god. That's from the Bachelorette. Yep. I, I have not watched that, but I've seen clips. Uh, Leon, David, that's whatever. Joseph, Herbert, Chapman, 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 Chapman. Herbert Chapman is on this list. Find the phone. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. Japanese man. Chapman. Okay, uh, can I call from here? There is no... You have no phone. Okay. No problem. Art has always been weird. Looks like. Your boss is a fine man. I know that face. That's the guy who busted all those Negro drug push last week, isn't it? That was last week. I don't think he was. He was in even in my time in one week. Putting you through now. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. Detective. Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let me find out for you. He was released this morning, Detective. Damn. I'm sorry, Detective. Not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you, Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thank you. Typing intensifies. <laughs> okay, um, let's go, man. My wife is so dumb, she stares at orange juice for hours. Well, it does say concentrate in the carpet. If you were twice as smart, you'd still be stupid. Oh my god, everyone is doing some, some, some type of competition of who can say worse things to other people. Crazy. All right, let's go, man. I'm taking a lot of time, but just um, trying to find things, which I didn't. It was in the neighbor's garden, under a tree, perfectly hidden, and I had to YouTube it. it. Took me forever. Not YouTube in part, but me trying to find it, and I didn't.
not going to tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not This is safe, America, sir. dickhead. Now step back or I'll lock you up for Smart a break. Son of a bitch. Okay, already. Whoa, okay. Stand down. That's an order. We're going to have to pacify the poor saps. There we go. You got him? What? I dodged that one. Come on. You look fancy, but you fight terrible. Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. Okay, then. Let's see if there's anything left to take a look at. Hopefully I can find it sooner. It all blends in so nicely because it's burnt down. It's hard to find anything here. Can I even... I don't know. I can't. Can I? What? I cannot even get up. What are you looking at? Oh my god. Mortar is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? You'd expect some shrinkage in the heat. But it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. Oh my god. Is this a Lego house? Shot. I think I have one, but I'm not gonna tell you because I faded out to black. I'll tell you in a second, though. Before that, I gotta go to this woman and bang her brains out once again. Give you the pleasure. Me, Get around. Is something quite other. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel Save about the threats for someone who cares about the boy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Stay away from Elysian fields. I should have known that you were playing Aaron. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. You get the message about Monroe? Yeah. Earl delivered it. You? Kelty. Started making noises about my pension. Sorry about that, Earl. I didn't mean to drag you into this. Save it, Phelps. Monroe was an asswipe. And so was Earl. And so is McKelty when it's all said and done. It's just you and me, pal. Everyone else is an asshole. 11K, okay. 11 go ahead. 11K, the last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is 650 North Kingsley Drive in Wilshire. Roger that, KGPL. 11K en route. Let's go pick him up. All right, Japanese man. I sugar loaf, didn't you? I did, but I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called Jack Kelso out that way? You know Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over California Fire and Life. Our paths cross from time to time. For some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. You 
Has uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stoned just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. Looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah. It's out somewhere. Is there some kind of problem? You could say that. Let's take a look at the car. Is it the car? Oh. It is indeed a car. A red one. Clear enough. That shit. Okay. Motive, mm -hmm. opportunity, and hard evidence. Okay. Probably another fake one, but whatever. Should provide the APB. He's clearly armed. Does he have a gun, though? Hmm. I mean, he's not here, so he must be. Holding it in his pocket, probably armed. Definitely gives him opportunity. Yeah, it's 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 the same shit, man. Hold it, cool. There he is. It's Chap. He's coming out of the laundromat. Shit, he's seen us. Cops again. Ooh, gun. Son of a bitch! He must have caught the trolley. We gotta move fast, Cole. We can't shoot the trolley. I'll call this okay. in. Get some cars dispatched. Car 11K calling KGPL. 11K requesting assistance. In pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 University streetcar. Currently heading east on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. God damn it. Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. Oh my god. They have done it purposely. I cannot go faster than a trolley for some reason. See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. Once you're, you're, you're shooting the trolley. End of the line, you little prick. Come on, Cole. There are innocent people in there. You could have shot them. <laughs> Just when I said that. Oh my god, that's... That's so ironic. End of the line, you little prick. Come on, right. Cole. Take the gun. Like we have our man, Cole. Hold on, I'm not so sure. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? The fires benefit a lesion in some way. I see Chapman and McGraw working together. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. Hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. Cole has some experience, man. He had that werewolf nice killer thing. Work, gentlemen. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. I couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? Been calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> so 
A letter from Lou. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. California Fire and Life. You worked for Elysian? The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator. Jack Kelso, and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? Do you want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help this Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He's a friend of yours? He hates my guts. Elsa, you could take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. Hmm. For me, it was quite long, but it's probably short or shorter. To you, because I'll be cutting it. Says, Miss. Okay. I'm Kelso now. There's no need to come into the office, Miss Lechtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. Hmm. I don't accept the what settlement. What do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A $200 policy with a $20,000 payout? You should... I don't want the money. What do you mean, you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay. Let me get the case filed. Am I gonna be killed, so? Holy shit. Oh, I can't do this. Right now. Thank you for watching this masterpiece. Remember, wait a wonderful life. Uh, this is a plot twist. But, um. Yeah, I can't do that. I should have stopped like a few minutes ago before Kelso actually started to do stuff. But it was a cutscene, so. Could have, I couldn't have done much. Farewell.